Hi folks, Aaron Dore here with the Iowa Gun Owners. I have an update for you on stand your ground law that you need to hear. I'm going to apologize in advance. This is going to be a lengthy video. A lot of things have happened here in the Capitol in the last couple of days that affect your gun rights and you have to know what's going on so you can take action and help us uh, stop this bad situation. As you guys know, stand your ground law has been the hottest issue on the Second Amendment front making the rounds here in Iowa for a number of years. And the bill's been stopped for years by anti-gunners like Senator Steve Sauters, Senator Mike Gronstall, and others who constantly said no for a long time. Of course, as you guys all know, they've been removed from office last fall by angry gun owners who'd had enough and removed those guys from office. Stand Your Ground Law is moving in the Iowa House. And because it's such a huge issue and so popular here in the Capitol, it's had a tremendous amount of other add-ons added to the bill. And it's now an omnibus bill that has a lot of great things in the bill. Or I should say, it did. You see, days ago, in a last-minute backroom deal done in the, in, in the Capitol here right behind me, the House leadership team, led by Representative Matt Winchell, authored up a compromise amendment that gutted, stuffed, and destroyed key provisions of this fantastic bill. On the list of casualties, because of this cowardice, includes constitutional carry. As you guys all know, this is one of the biggest issues sweeping the country in general. It simply makes the permit to carry firearms optional. If you want a permit, that's fantastic. You can get a permit under our current shell issue laws. But if you don't want to get a permit, if you don't want to have to beg government permission to carry a firearm, you wouldn't have to. This thing has passed in six states in the last two years. It passed in New Hampshire just last month. It's in the move in 20 states right now as I speak. It was on the move here in Iowa until days ago, Representative Matt Winchell brokered a deal to take constitutional carry off the table as a gift to the anti-gun lobby here in the Capitol behind me. Number two, preemption reform. As you guys know, IGO has traveled all across the state for years, fighting in city hall after city hall who are trying to ban the carry of firearms on city property, even with a permit. We've been from towns like George to Westchester, Tama to Nevada, Dubuque, and everywhere in between, every time there was an attempt to ban your gun rights. 15 towns out of 15 towns, you and I have stopped from banning these firearms on, 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 on city property. And finally, the bill that was contained here in the Capitol in the last couple of days, it concluded language that would stop a city's ability to ban firearms on their property. As of a couple of days ago, with the amendment, with the, with the compromise deal brokered by Matt Winchell, that language has been very seriously undermined. It will now require you having to get the resources you need to engage legal counsel to sue your city government if you want to stop them. That thing has been destroyed. Number three, reinstatement of the permit to purchase handguns here in Iowa. Nothing is more unconstitutional than having to get a, cons a permit to exercise a constitutional right. That's what the permit to purchase here in Iowa actually is. We have fought this for years. The late Representative Duane Alons championed this bill for us for a long time, and it was always held back here in the Iowa House by the leadership team, by guys like Matt Winchell, and they always said, don't worry, when we get a pro-gun Senate, we'll make this happen. Representative Alon's passed away before he could see this fight come to its fruition. This was supposed to be the year to see this happen. And Matt Winchell, in a last minute deal in the committee room right beside me here, took this thing out of this omnibus bill as a gift to anti-gun members of the Capitol and anti-gun media outlets here in Iowa. And perhaps the most important of all, the most lethal of all, is a severe wounding to our Stand Your Ground proposal here in Iowa. As you guys know, Stand Your Ground law has a couple key components. Number one, it has to remove the requirement to retreat. It has to have civil immunity so you cannot be sued in civil court by some thug who tried to attack your family and forced you to use your firearm in a self-defense situation. And number three, it has to contain immunity from criminal prosecution unless probable cause exists to believe you broke the law. Otherwise, you can be arrested just because. You're going to have to post bond just because. You're going to have to go, to, you're going to, have to, go to, to court and engage counsel and spend tremendous amounts of money just because some anti-gun prosecutor like Polk County Attorney John Sarcone can twist his thumb and push down on you because he despises you taking care of your family the way he's done so many times here in the past, unfortunately, in Des Moines. Without this immunity language, nothing can stop an anti-gun prosecutor like that from doing that. 
from, from making those charges. You'll likely win when you go to court because we'll have removed the requirement to retreat. But you're going to have to go through hell to prove that. You're going to have to pay a fortune to prove that. In most states, almost every state that has stand your ground law, the immunity is very simple. Unless probable cause exists that you broke the law, you can't be arrested. You can't be charged. You can't be tossed in jail just because. There has to be a reason. There has to be probable cause to believe you've broken the law. If that doesn't exist, you are immune from charges, period. That's what stand your ground law is all about. And that provision has been removed from this bill by Representative Matt Winchell. Again, in a gift to anti-gun members of the Iowa State Capitol and anti-gun media outlets here in the state. You see, Matt Winchell and all of his friends up here in the leadership team, they're much more concerned about maintaining their friendships and their personal entanglements with the Capitol members up here and with anti-gun uh, media outlets than they are about fighting for your gun rights. Matt is far more concerned about making sure his hair is just perfectly taken care of to race out and get in front of a KCCI news camera than he is about fighting to advance your gun rights. And it's despicable. Sure, is the underlying bill that remains pro-gun? Of course. Is the bill that remains worthy of our support? Of course. But it didn't have to be gutted like this. It didn't have to be destroyed like this. Who are we trying to protect? Who are we afraid of? Because of gun owners, the Senate has flipped. Because of gun owners, all these guys are gone. You know, for years in this chamber, I've been told, as many of you have been told, by guys like Matt Winchell and by Matt himself, you know what? We're going to pass constitutional carry. We're going to pass senior ground law once we get a pro-gun governor. Right now, we can't touch it. That was back in the day. Chet Culver was removed from office by gun owners, and yet nothing happened. Then the, re the response became, you know what? We're going to pass this when we have a pro-gun Senate. But for right now, Gronstall can stop all of our bills, so we're not even going to try. That's been their approach for a long time on the weighty bills like constitutional carry and stand your ground law. So again, gun owners delivered last fall and gave these guys a pro-gun Senate chamber. Gronstall, gone. Sodders, gone. Shane John, Wilhelms, Courtney, Braze, all of them gone. Because gun owners stood up, got involved, and held these guys accountable and gave them the boot. Matt, you got the majority you've always been waiting on, but now you're the one making the deals again. You're the one who's acting like a coward, too afraid to take on liberal media, too afraid to take on the minority members of the Capitol who are opposed to this bill, and you're the one making the deals now that harmfully affect our right to keep and bear arms. And gun owners want to know why. Here's the thing, folks. This bill is not done yet. This was just a committee action. It's going to go to the floor yet. It could be amended again. It could be made worse on the floor yet again. That fight hasn't even happened yet. So I need you guys to help us out right away and make some phone calls. Call your state rep at 515-281-3221 and tell him or her enough is enough. No more compromises. We want to see a full-bodied stand your ground law. We want to see constitutional carry. We want to see preemption reform that actually fixes the preemption problem. We're tired of having to get permits to purchase handguns here in Iowa and all the rest of it. They have a chance to do this. Now is their chance. Also, call your state senator and tell him or her the same thing. No more deals. No more compromises. Pass the best bill you can. 515 281-3371. In both cases, it's the switchboard. They'll connect you automatically to your state rep and state senator, so make your calls right now. I mentioned to you guys that Missouri passed constitutional carry last year, and they did. Our sister organization, the Missouri Firearms Coalition, led that charge down there for a long time, and they got it done last year. And the thing is, as the bill picked up steam and got more and more support and cleared key committee hurdles uh, throughout the process, anti-gunners across the state got more and more alarmed. Anti-gun media from St. Louis to Jefferson City to Springfield to Columbia and everywhere in between were ranting and raving for weeks and weeks and weeks trying to kill this bill. Michael Bloomberg himself funded his front groups and they ran TV ads and radio ads and newspaper ads trying to crush this bill. But the anti, but the pro-gun, sorry, the pro-gun majority members that control the Capitol in Missouri said, kiss off. And so instead of watering down this bill, instead of hiding behind the table like Matt Winchell did here days ago in the committee hearing, they amended the bill to actually include stand your ground law as well as constitutional carry, making that bill 100% better as a final way, again, of saying pound sand to all the anti-gunners who were opposing this bill. 
But here in Iowa, a couple hours north, led by Representative Matt Winchell, we have said, no, we'll give away the farm, and they have. So your phone calls have never been more important. Tell these guys to stop compromising. Tell them to support pro-gun amendments to, include, to make these bills better, and call them right now. You can call them. You can email them. You can send a message on Facebook. Either way, contact them right now and tell them to stop caving on the Second Amendment. Gun owners did their job in 2016. It's time these guys do theirs. As always, folks, we'll keep you informed. Thank you for all of your support and activism in defense of our gun rights, and thank you for your attention today.